Guys, welcome again to my channel. We're going to do a little collective reading, so get your teacups up and ready. Mm. I should have put a little bit more honey, but I don't mind. I drink coffee and tea without sugar, but I, did, I do use some honey in my tea from time to time. Uh, that's some jasmine tea. So I'm going to have some sweet dreams tonight. My dreams are going to sweep me tonight. And I also got um, uh, green tea mixed with passion fruit and, and jasmine in it, but it's mostly, it's mostly green tea. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started off with the tarot. Again, this is a message for all signs. Face up, spirit. I don't even started yet. I have this going to be for all signs because I done do the Virgo sign uh, already. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started with this one. And I got a little technique of how I'm going to get through this video without any um, audio issues. Yes. So yeah, we're going to cut it off at 10 minutes, start again, cut it off at 10 minutes, start again. So for any of my peoples out there, Spirit wanted me to tell you, for any of my peoples out there, my divines that are going through audio issues and all kind of like uh, sound problems and shit like that, uh, that is not by mistake. Trust me, I've been going through it for the past couple of months, but luckily for me, I'm able to remember everything because everything is in here and in here. So I'm able to just remember things and type it out even afterwards. I even use like types, captions and shit like that to make up for it because I understood what I was, what I was saying anyway, you feel me? So, uh, if you guys are going through that, uh, my best suggestion is to do your video for 10 minutes, cut it off, then come up, come like do another 10 minutes. You understand what I'm saying? Like cut it off, put it back on, cut it off, put it back on. If you notice that the sound goes off after a certain time, um, after that, you can use like a movie maker type of app and then you can put it all together uh, upon one video. So that is a suggestion for my divines out there. And I notice there's other people going through it. And I'm, it's not like I'm glad that I'm not, <laughs> it's not like I'm glad that they're going through it too, but it's just kind of like in a sense that I'm, I know I'm not tripping. I know I'm not tripping. So when I see other people uh, saying that and shit on their community tab, other people mentioning, I'm like, oh, okay. So it's not just me. It's not just me though. I'm not just tripping. You know what I'm saying? So now I know. Okay. So it's been happening to other divines as well. Okay. A lot of uh, audio discrepancies and things and shit, okay? So let's go ahead and get started because I got eight minutes and I'm going to go ahead and start the video again. And then we'll see how, how it goes. Ooh, let's see. Sorry, guys. I don't have my phone stand, so I've been using this. I do apologize. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Three one three two five five two eight eight. Immediately now we are immune, protected, shielded from all magic done to us by any grandmaster magicians that we did not ask nor request to do any work on our behalf, both known and unknown. The universe supports my request to cancel, cut, clear, delete, obliterate any ill intentions, thoughts, actions, emotions projected onto us that interfere with free will and choice. The universe manifests this immediately now. The power of this request is infinite, unending, permanent. Any outside influences are now terminated and returned back to its senders forever permanently. And so it is. Amen. Ashe itarala. Let me go ahead and close my door. Okay, I'm back. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We got the seven of cups that flipped out by itself. Let's clarify the seven of cups. Spirit, tell us why the seven of cups is here.
Mm. Mm. Okay. I'll show you guys when I'm finished. We got the Seven of Cups and we got the Tree of Swords in reverse. Mm. Mm. Page of Swords in reverse. I'm going to throw out three more cards. Clarify the Page of Swords in reverse. One more spirit. Okay. All right, now. Okay. Let's see. First, we got the Seven of Cups here. Oh, my shirt. First, we have the Seven of Cups here. Okay. Then after that, we have the Tree of Swords and the page in a reverse. So it seems like to me with the seven of cups, I feel like with the seven of cups, you guys have, uh, because seven talks about spiritual growth, right? Um, I feel like you guys have been so deep inside of that, uh, inside of that arena, okay, um, that you're not even paying attention to what's happening in the mundane life. Um, okay. Uh, you guys have recently got over deception, heartbreak, um, some type of chronic misunderstanding spirit is saying, uh, like a constant perpetual misunderstanding, uh, with somebody who's very immature. Okay. We got a page of swords in a reverse. Okay. I feel like a lot of options have been opening up to you guys since you guys have focusing on yourself. A lot of options have opened up for you guys. Emotional offers galore. And I feel like the person that, that you had got over with this tree of, um, tree of swords in a reverse and this page of swords in reverse, this person that you got over could possibly be an airbender, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. I feel like they, they don't watch you on the net and they like seeing that you having all these options that are being presented to you okay they see also how much you've spiritually grown how much you've um, emotionally matured from the last time they were expecting for you to still be heartbroken and still be in in your feelings um but you're not in your feelings okay you gave all of your worries conquer i mean all your worries, doubts, and fears um, to spirit, and you didn't pay it no mind. You just started focusing on your own growth, focus on your healing, and then all these options just started popping up for you. Okay. Now you don't got over the deception. You guys have been in a lot of uh, third party interferences where there were external forces that were from certain things, from certain connections. And you guys done got over that. You guys became one with spirit. You guys have gotten over that shit, right? You guys are going with the flow. Remember, this is a water sign, okay? Um, so, um, I mean, a water <laughs> cups is water, right? Okay. And with the page of uh, page of swords in reverse, this person has been watching you and trying to like send ill thoughts and uh, th that kind of thing because they're wondering like, why is this person not like feeling some type of way. Why are they not feeling like how I'm feeling? Uh, you shut them out and opportunities started to open up for you. Other offers started to come up for you, options and shit. All right. This person is still kind of watching you or whatever. Right. And, um, so then we, it's clarified by this. Okay. This means they want to, they want another go around. All right. They're also seeing that you're hitting a lot of good fortune there, or they feel like they feel like fortune is in your trajectory, that it's right around the bend, coming down the pipeline. You dig? So um, I feel like with this um, Wheel of Fortune card, they want to be a part of that. They want you to spin the karmic wheel of misfortune and shit like that. They, they definitely see what's coming down the pipeline for you. They also see that you're spiritually very powerful. A lot of motherfuckers thought that you was just talking just to be talking, but you really are like... You really are the HBIC or the HHIC, head higher front in charge, head high priestess in charge, head bitch in charge, head nigga in charge. They starting to see that shit, okay? Your magical wand is up. You're powerful. A lot of passion, okay? 
a lot of passion, um, a lot of creative power. Okay. And I feel like your creative power is going to give you a lot of good fortune. Your, the work that you've been putting in spiritually and emotionally is going to pay off and it has been paying off. And that's what got these motherfuckers so fucking confused and perplexed and just like, like constipation, confusion, like that. They can't, they can't seem to fathom how you were able to survive this heartbreak, so much betrayal that they threw your way. They couldn't believe that you was able to get over that shit. Okay. They thought that that would put the nail in your coffin. All right. These motherfuckers is feeling really stuck in a life right now. All right. With the eight, eight of swords. Okay. They're being disciplined by spirit. Spirit is hemming them up. They're getting chicken went against the wall by spirit. Okay. And they're, and so right now they're, they're in spiritual jail. All right. And, and they're stuck in a life right now. They see this going on for you. They see the power, the sword, or I would say the magical wand that you wield. And they want a piece of that action. You also close the karmic uh, cycle with this person, with a lot of people. Okay. And your 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 head is in the clouds. You are you're you're um you gave everything to 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 spirit. You you're not tripping off of the mundane. You totally went to who? See this one flipped out and fell face up. Yeah, you definitely walked away from these people. You closed out a karmic cycle because you knew that you weren't gonna get this this fortune in your life if you had these same people and these same energy. All right, so you did have to walk away. Okay. Tim, I could have been dealing with an airbender or a wet dream. All right. This also talks about going back to the drawing board as well. Yeah. We got two eights here. Yeah. Going back. That's a part of their punishment. Their part of their punishment was people were walking away from them. Not just you. People were walking away from them. Therefore, they were stuck. Okay. They thought that you would still be hurt. They thought you, that you would still be angry or still be holding a grudge because that, what that entails is them having your energy in some type of way or having your attention in some type of way with the page of swords in a reverse. Uh, they've been watching you on social media to try to see if any type of shit that they've been doing has been working. And why hasn't it been working? Why are you so happy? Why are the doors opening up for this divine? They're, they're very confused at this time. A lot of them realize that they hit the wrong target, that they misdirected their evil eye, that they misdirected all of their ill thoughts and intentions, okay? They refuse to see the forest for the trees. They refuse to see things from other person's perspective. They only felt like their perspective mattered and fuck everybody else uh, type shit, you feel me? We, uh, the hanged uh, woman in reverse here. They lost perspective, okay? They, they started operating off of their ego, all right? They weren't seeing the bigger picture. All they cared about was just their perspective and nobody else's. They misdirected whatever smoke that they had. They're misdirecting it and they, they gave it to the wrong person. All right. These flipped out um, face up. Okay. Ah, seven of swords. Positive investments. Remember to choose wisely of where you distribute your time energy and resources and whatever that you guys have been doing, have been investing in or putting your energy into um, a certain project or into your journey, you're going to see positive returns from it. So we have two sevens, which is talking about spiritual growth and completion and accomplishment. And then we have two eights, which talks about continuous flow. Okay. This person is, like I said, this person is forever stuck. They are being, um, they're being disciplined. They're being chicken winged in the spirit against the fucking wall. Okay. Um, then right here, we have the emperor, you ruling with an iron fish, you getting your life together, structuring your life back together. Okay. Putting things in motion. Okay. A lot of you guys have been jump starting things or getting ready to launch something. Um, I also feel like you guys are finally getting it. You guys are finally putting yourself first. Okay. Because this is an emperor card. This is Aries card. They're about their self-interest first. They're about like, I get mine first and then y'all can get yours. <laughs> right. Then they can get theirs. Right. All right. So you're all about 
Uh, this is kind of like you pushing forward, ruling with an iron fist. This is about motion. This is uh, you operating in your divine masculine, whether you're a woman or a man, okay? Getting your life back together. You guys have a big daddy type of energy, big mama, big daddy a type of energy, and you are getting your shit together. And anybody that's not falling in line, you're not, you're walking away from them. Anybody that's not falling in line, okay? This is how powerful you guys are right now. The emperor, empress, okay? And the, and the magical wand here. And the good fortune. Okay? That's y'all power right now. Yeah, I just feel like these, these um, people... This page of swords, it's, it's like a constant theme in a lot of our readings. And I, I feel like, uh, like I said, they, they definitely have misdirected their energy to the wrong people. They thought certain people were the op and they wasn't the op and they got their asses chicken wing in the fucking spirit fucking around. Okay, Sagittarius, expand. Some of you guys have been fantasizing about traveling. Okay, some of you guys may have been thinking about like either traveling, relocating, or uh, learning a new language. Okay. You guys may prefer to be around the company of, of international people, um, people from different uh, cultures and walks of life. You asking them about their culture, their customs, their language, and you thinking about visiting, okay? And that's nine, okay? So nine is about uh, ending something and then expanding, okay? So that's just another another indication of, of closing out karmic cycles and then expanding like the Sagittarius energy. They do not like to be stuck. They don't like to feel stifled. I'm a Sagittarius rising. So I, I know the feeling and I have a Uranus and Sag. I got a few other Sag placements. Okay. We don't like to feel stuck. We don't like to feel like we're in a one place. We want to feel freedom. Any type of restriction you trying to put us in any type of fucking box. That's a problem. We're going to bust out that box and be running like a motherfucker. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I'm getting is some of you guys want to break out. You guys want to break out, uh, and leave. Okay. So that's Sagittarius expand. It also talks about, uh, Jupiter. Okay. Uh, in order to, to, um, Oh, this also talks about, okay, not just expansion, but uh, enterprise, business, uh, and things like that, because it talks about Jupiter, right? So Jupiter is about expanding your business. So some of you guys may want to expand your business to uh, international or move somewhere, learn a new language um, when it comes to business. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe have a, a a business partner that's in that's in charge of international. Yeah, it's something that's going to have to do with with collaborating with people from uh from foreign countries. Okay, some of you guys may be entrepreneurs, and you guys may have some type of like import export uh, type of business and that type of thing. Okay, and you're thinking of expanding your business in another country where where the demand is high for what for what you're selling. Okay, Aries. Aries talks about acting now. One, being the first. This is just like the Emperor card, correct? All right, it's about being a self-starter, initiating it. You guys are ready to, y'all are ready to move. Y'all are ready to move the fuck on, okay? You don't want to feel bound by any type of restrictions. You don't want to feel, feel bound by anybody's um, emotions, bullshit, uh, people's fear mongering, uh, trauma mongering. You guys are over it. You guys are ready to go up and out. Notice this is nine and then it's one. Endings and beginnings, okay? All right? This talks about business dealings, okay, as well, too. So, yeah. And it's basically about going out and getting yours. The, the Sagittarius is about going out, and the ex, then the Aries is about getting yours by any means, regardless. Getting yours, and then and it's kind of like finally, because since they're the baby of the zodiac, they they um in in some ways like they tend to be selfish, right? But it's, it's like selfish in a, in a healthy way. Like I'm gonna get mine. It's like I've been putting everybody ahead of me, and wasn't realistic about my relationships, and now fuck all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going I'm going in horns first. I'm going in. And nobody's going to stop me. Okay. Nobody's going to restrict me. Okay. Nobody's going to put me in no kind of box. Okay. So yeah, the Aries talks about, the Sagittarius talks about to expand. The Aries talks about to act now and to be selfish, to go at, to go for yours, to go for self. You understand what I'm saying? That's what you guys are realizing now that, uh, other people, you're realizing that other people 
are distractions, okay? This one flipped out like a motherfucker. Wow, 12th house. This is talking about what's hidden, you feel me? Um, let me see where I can get the book at, hold on. The 12th house talks about what's hidden, what's unconscious, okay? So this definitely talks about what I feel in my heart is about shadow work and chakra alignment, as you can see with all the chakra colors here, okay? So this talks about what's not there. Let's go ahead and uh, get into the book right quick. And that's 50, five, okay, five, telepathy, telepathy, excuse me, inner self uh, talking. This also talks about the fifth card in the tarot deck, the hierophant, okay? So you guys are doing some spiritual work behind the scenes, uh, shadow work, cleansing and clearing. You guys are addressing the things that are unconscious uh, during the... Um, the Scorpio season, okay, addressing any type of inner talks. You guys have been getting a lot of inner talks from people as well, okay? And you guys have been addressing people telepathically that have been sending you thoughts, yes, okay? Um, so this is a 12th house would be the quiet place. The sun in the 12th house is just after sunrise. Time for prayer, meditation, for dreaming our deepest dreams, okay? This talks about introspection, all right? This Situation is complex, so learn what is going on behind the scenes before you act. Look for private motives, hidden enemies, and surprise angels. Take time alone to develop an idea and listen from within. Yes, so that's the energy here, okay? To expand, to act, to press on, to move forward, right? And to structure your life and get your life together, the Aries energy, being being selfish, going for self, okay? And, and making sure that you understand the hidden mo motives behind people, making sure that you know who your enemies are, you know who uh, your uh, potential allies are, potential enemies are, you, you know how to play the game, okay? Life is like a dice game, Spirit said, all right? So it says, take time alone to develop an idea or listen with them. So this is definitely about shadow work, aligning your chakras, increasing your awareness, your, your intuition, honoring your awareness and your intuition. Okay. It says the 12th house speaks of both of you who are, it speaks of both of who you are when nobody is looking and that your faith is intricately linked to every other sentient being. Work with this metaphor that we all are, that we are all cells in the body of the divine it is essential that you take care of yourself and honor who you are. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I feel like your spirit is crying out to, to, to leave and to, and to restructure and structure your life back over again and work on the, work on the, um, work on yourself. I mean, work on the things that have been hidden, the things that you have buried in your subconscious mind, um, things of that nature. Okay. Getting yourself aligned. Okay. It says, if you just take care of yourself and disregard the rest, you become, a cancer that brings illness to the great body. If you deny your individuality, you can't do what you were born to do. So a lot of you guys are feeling like y'all really want to live in your purpose. Um, okay. So the challenge for this card is it can be hard to find a healthy place between feeling sub subsumed by a group or dwelling in a stunted isolation. The 12th house asks you to face your fears. The gift of this card is in quiet moments of prayer, meditation, and creative bliss, feel that deep connection with source and know that you're not alone. So you guys definitely have this feeling of wanting to just break out, wanting to just <sighs> finally live in your purpose. You know, finally living your purpose. You don't want anybody blocking your way. Cause like I said, you know, people can be distractions. People can try to distract you with emotional offers, uh, fake olive branches, their misdirected, misdirected anger, misdirected smoke towards you and shit like that. And you're starting to discover who's really who, like you're sitting back and you're watching people's masks just crack and shit like that, whatever. And I feel like you guys are like, okay. Now I know that those type of things are nothing but distractions. I'm ready to just kind of expand and just like leave. Like some of you guys really uh, want to just break out and leave. Um, and you guys don't want to no longer feel restricted or isolated. That's pretty much why I got out of that. You know, much like the Sagittarius and the Aries, they can't sit in a one place. They have to, they have to keep going. They have to keep moving. Okay. 
they're going. You can never get them to sit in one place. You know, Aries, they're going to go for self. Nobody's going to stop them. They're the first one to do it. They're the first ones out the door. Okay, Sagittarius, I could say that honestly the same thing. They will go the distance. And if you can't keep up with them, oh, motherfucking well. Like, <laughs> 11, 47, 5 o'clock. That's how the Sagittarius is, okay? They're on a, they're on a, uh, on a, on a spiritual journey, you know, hierophant shit. Okay. This is like hierophant shit. The higher hierophant... the trenches, they have to get their chakras aligned. They have to, um, you know, strengthen their telepathy, strengthen their intuition. Okay. You know, there's a lot of spiritual work to be done. You guys are supposed to be traveling the world and spreading a spiritual message and in, in, in spirit is choosing you to be the first person to do that. Okay. Number six is also talking about Okay, healing people, helping people to embrace who they are. We're talking about the sixth chakra, right? And we're talking about the, uh, which would be right here. We are talking about the uh, sacral chakra. So you guys are supposed to be on a spiritual mission to spread a message, okay? To be the first person to do it, to spread a message, to teach people how to love themselves, to to um, put themselves first, okay? To spoil themselves, self-care and all of that, and to embrace who they are. And understand that they are um, understand that life is a is a dice game. This is a part of our progression, a part a part of our uh, journey to dissect and evaluate our relationships, understand where we fit, to find our place in this world with this verbal card, digest. Okay, so you're here, you're not here to make yourself digestible to others, okay? You're here to embrace who you are, okay? You're here to spread your truth, okay? You're not here to be restricted. You're not here to be silenced. That's why people have been trying to silence my divines, you know, by fucking around with the audio of their motherfucking videos and taking forever to upload their motherfucking videos and all kind of bullshit because people are trying to stop you from spreading your message because your message does expand. It gets to the right place. It gets people fired up. It gets people to feel healing. Okay. It gets people to work on their inner selves to get their selves straight in alignment. That's what you're meant to do. That is your purpose. You understand? That is your purpose. Nobody can stop you from your purpose. That's why these people are trying to watch you and they see that what's coming towards you is the wheel of fortune, the ace of wands. Okay? They can't talk, they can't talk spicy to you anymore. Solar flares in the reverse. They can't talk spicy to you no more. And this is a uh, uh, eight in the reverse. Yeah. They can't talk spicy to you anymore. I feel like a lot of you guys have dealt with a lot of slander and you guys have silenced that slander under wraps. You guys have silenced that slander. You silence the slander of your hidden enemies and potential enemies, flying monkeys, enablers. You silence all of them. All they could do is sit back and watch. They can never, they can never go after your solar plexus again. Okay, that shit is shut down. That shit is... It's over. Like I said, it, it chicken winged against the wall by spirit. They're not going to be able, they're not going to stop you from spreading your message ever again. Look, they're, look at, look at what's going on with them. Okay. Their solar plexus out of order, <laughs> out of order. They can't say nothing. Tapa boca. They can't say shit because they try to silence you. Now they get in silence. Hello. And now they're not going to reach their pinnacle of success. They're not going to be able to keep their shit in order. Okay. They're going to have problems with their projects. Then we have the sun. This is you. This is your energy. I call you a sun because you shine like one. <laughs> this is you getting stronger and stronger and stronger. All right. That's that adds up to a nine. You guys are going to accomplish all of your creative projects, all of your spiritual, uh, pro your spiritual missions, all of that, nobody's going to stop you. Nobody's going to silence you. Keep on, keep on going, keep on creating. Nobody is going to be able to silence the message. Write down your messages. If you guys are content creators, a spiritualist, write down your message, record yourself. Like you can still do that. You can still go to like Walgreens and buy a little tape recorder, record your lecture, write them down and everything. You feel me? And then well, uh, if, if, it, if the video happens to fuck up or there's an audio, you still have the information. You have it written down and you have it recorded. So make sure you safeguard, you know what I'm saying, safeguard your information, your downloads, whatever the case is. 
And like I said, start your video, let it go on for 10 minutes, stop, and then keep going on and on and on and on. All right, you guys are operating in your north node. Whatever that your north node sign is, be sure to look it up. All right, look it up and see what your north node is. That's where you're supposed to be. So if not already, anybody that watches me should already <laughs> know what a birth chart is and already have a birth chart. You should be looking at it a lot. Uh, see where your north node is. This is about you. This is about the future. Remember the south node, we, what we covered last time, was about the past. This is about the future. All right. This is about the future. All right. We're going back to the future here. North, North node three, four, seven accomplishment. This is all about accomplishment and reaching your North node. Okay. So whatever your North node sign is, look that up. And that is supposed to be your mission in this life. That's what you're supposed to accomplish in this life is, is your North node. This talks about the future, uh, um, a better, a better situation. Okay. A better situation, clarity. Okay. So it's, a, it's about clarity, personal power, okay, clarity, um, intuition, clearing up any types of confusion, making sure people don't have you fucked up, okay, with the soul that calm, okay, you, you, um, anytime they speak ill of you, their, their tongues burn, okay, you cool off a lot of people's tongues, soul to calm, see, soul to calm upright, so the flare is in a reverse, okay? You have full permission to go towards your south node. You have the personal power. You have everything. You have everything. Spirit has equipped you with everything that you need to go forward in this journey, okay? It's your time now. They can't stop you anymore. It's your time now, okay? Let people sort their own shit out. It has nothing to do with you. You have done the work. Okay, you've been doing the shadow work, trying to get yourself together. You know, spirit sees that. Okay, and they taking care of anybody that's trying to be in their way because they chose you to do this mission. They chose you to spread the word. Okay, so they're not going to allow anything to happen to you on your watch. Everything else that has happened uh, is really merely just a test. Everything that has happened to you is just a test. You understand? I'm going to do these last set of cards. Damn, my tea. Well, actually, it was really, really hot. Mm. Oh, yeah. Good. Well, I'm going to have some good dreams tonight. I just know it. Me and Jasmine, we don't fuck around. Me and that Jasmine tea, we don't fuck around, baby. I like jasmine oil, jasmine tea. I wish I had a jasmine candle. I need to go to my um my old Bethanica. They moved, but I need to go to their new spot again. Get me a jasmine oil and jasmine candle and drink my little jasmine tea, bitch. Root chakra. All right. Root chakra, special attention to that. Feeling safe, feeling secure. Some of you guys may have may have issues where you may feel uh, unsafe or unstable. Okay. Insecure. Okay. So you might want to uh, work on that root chakra. It's like feeling like you belong, feeling safe. Okay. Red. I'm getting Mars energy from that. So it might have to do with like, uh, you know, feeling defenseless or hopeless in some kind of way. So you need to tap into that Mars type of energy with this uh, base card. All right, so yeah, listen to some Root Chakra binaural beats, okay? And it'll help put it on reset. We got the number one. So yeah, it's time to reset on uh, that base chakra, okay? Financial material changes, okay? Five is, of course, emphasis on, on uh, change here. So that's a good thing. So your circumstances are going to change, okay? Yeah, and I feel like that's what's going on with you. That there were certain financial and material changes. You guys suffered some type of loss or some type of delay, and it has you feeling a little uneasy, having you feeling um, like you like you can't survive or or you feel unsafe or you you just don't feel a hundred percent stable when it comes to the finances. But spirit is saying there's going to be help and relief on the way. Okay.
and everything's gonna be good spirit says stop your dry cry everything gonna come when it's supposed to come relief is there on the way uh-huh you see uh-huh material and spiritual prosperity six healing there's gonna be a healing five and six are eleven okay eleven plus this one i one 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 that's um new beginnings okay so you guys are gonna be able to see some see some finances relief and money is on the way okay you gotta call it in bring it in expect it in assume that you're going to get that assume it and it's coming it's on its way okay and it's going to help stabilize you it's going to give you the confidence that you need like yeah i could survive da, 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 da. like you know it gives you that confidence okay sacrifice this talk this is the hierophant card uh this also is talking about a nine okay it's like the hermit cards this is about staying within finding out hidden truths doing a lot of reading researching investigation hello it's a uh, scorpio season that's pretty much what what that's about okay um uh, uh reading uh, discovering hidden truths discovering things that are being uh, uh tucked away so basically you reading okay I, I really feel like it's like a chess piece behind this person okay this is about playing chess or playing your cards right or using your wits, okay? Being in the background. You guys are in the background uh, in a solitude right now, and you guys are just, like, peeping a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you guys have been uh, researching and investigating um, random things. Okay, but you guys have been a lot of truth is being told to you because you guys don't have any distractions. A lot of truth has been told to you. Like a lot of you guys feel like you know that this help and this relief is coming because spirit has already told you like in a dream or a download. All right. Emotional withdrawal. Do not lust for results. Okay. Do not allow your fears to take over. Okay. Uh, spirit wants you to detach from the outcome. Okay, emotionally withdraw. Uh, detach from the outcome. Do not be too emotionally connected or invested in it, okay? You do not want to be thirsty when it comes to that kind of thing, okay? The universe will misinterpret that. Like, ooh, you a thirsty bitch. How about I not give it to you? <laughs> okay, you got to assume that the, that help is coming. That help is on the way. You got to assume that you are going to survive and thrive because you always have. And this is just a part of life. This is all cycles, Okay. So the plexus, okay. So yeah, lower chakra tings, okay. So the plexus root, root, uh, root chakra or base chakra, okay. It's time to put that in harmony here with the three here, okay. So yeah, listen to binaural beats for your solar plexus, okay. You guys will be feeling a lot, of very creative, okay. You falling back and you know uh, focusing on yourself, you're able to be a lot more uh, creative. You're also able to strengthen yourself, and and this is all about uh, personal power and creativity and, and courage, okay. So just under, just this is about belief, believing in yourself as well. So. Uh, you know, detach from the outcome. Do not lust for uh, results. Okay. Believe and know and assume that it's coming. Okay. Be confident that you know that that help is coming, that you know that your spiritual gang gang got you. Okay. All right. And one last card, spirit. One last card for my divine collective. Fulfillment of wishes. Boom. We are going to end this right here. So, yeah, good times is coming. You have to understand it. You have to believe. Okay? All the things that you've gone through, everything is going, everything that comes up to now. You see the water here? Lots of flow. Treasure. Okay? You've been chosen. You've been chosen. That's why they've given you the gifts. Okay? Look at this person here. Look at the flow, the growth that's around them. Green. The stability, the flow that's coming in. All right? Uh, treasures, hidden treasures, you sticking to yourself. Okay. Not lusting after results, keeping your emotions out of it, not letting emotional things distract you like other people's misdirected smoke and energy distract you. You doing that, you, you get to unlock all kinds of hidden treasures. Okay. You get to unlock all kinds of hidden treasures, uh, spiritual and material, uh, prosperity. That is, that is, inherited to you that's been given to you by your ancestors by your spiritual gang gang this is what you were supposed to do 
what you are meant to do. Do you understand what I'm saying? So that is pretty much that. And then again, we got nine. So the angel numbers for this reading is five, 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 seven, 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 nine, nine, nine. So that's emphasis on change, 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 <laughs> completion, accomplishment, it's emphasis on, on, on that and new beginnings too. Cause we also have one and we have one, we have one, one, one. So it's one, 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 five, five, five and six, six, six. So when you really think about it, it's 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11. 